Uh, this is Drive on Talksport with me, Andy Goldstein and Darren Bent. Before we go to the phone lines, we're talking Liverpool and Palace, 03717 Let me tell you, Andy Murray set up a meeting with fellow Brit Cameron Norrie after beating veteran Stan Vavrenka. Easy for me to say in the Cincinnati Open. Uh, speaking ahead of England's opening test against South Africa, tomorrow veteran bowler James Anderson said he's showing no signs of stopping despite recently turning 40. And Liverpool's 2005 Champions League winner, Didi Haman, told the breakfast show this morning that this is mad, that Darwin Nunez's red card against Crystal Palace last night was harsh. What? I think he just walked into him. It wasn't even a head, but I think he just walked into the defender, Andrew Anderson. <laughs> if it's a proper head, but I can understand uh, to, to extend the ban, but, but he just walked into him. I wonder what would happen if someone just walked into Didi Haman and did that. That's one of the most nuts things I've ever it's heard. Weird. It was a disgusting headbutt. Yeah. Jim White said something similar this morning. It wasn't. Listen, it wasn't a full blown headbutt, but it was like a. He threw, well, he headbutted him. It, it wasn't like a. You know, what I mean, I've that. Well, I mean, there are, there are different degrees of headbutt. Yes, but it, he it, head, was a le- it was still a headbutt. Yeah, it was disgusting. It was a letter of a headbutt. He walked into on the headbutt, it on the headbutt scale. Did he, man? Like a two. What's he talking about? Uh, let's go to the phone line, shall we? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Johnny joins us, a Liverpool fan. Hello, John. Good evening, good afternoon boys. Well, first of all, um, I don't think myself, it, uh, the intent was there to, to head, but um, but I didn't think he touched him. He went down like a bloody shot. Hold on, hold on, just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, John. You don't yes. think he touched him? No, he, he, he went down as if he, he, like as if he'd got shot by a gun, Paul Lux. Right, uh, John. He didn't even touch John. him at all. John, you need to go to Specsavers. The intent was there. John. And the main reason was right, that it happened was John. he queried a foul. He, he'd already been pushed he by him. the Crystal Palace player. John, John take a breath. And then John. he gave him a shove and then he reacted in John. like... It, oh, sorry, hang on a minute. It, like as if um, he in temper and he lost his rag and unfortunately... But there we are. Another thing then... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He head-butted him. There was contact. He head-butted him. I don't think there was. Well, contact. no, I'm telling you for a fact there was, John. Well, I was there. I seen the game, well, and I watched. Well, go on to YouTube. On go on to YouTube. Out. Go on to Sky Sports. Look it up again. Look at the newspaper. I've Read all the reports. I've seen it, I've seen John, it on the Liverpool Channel. But I John, watched it all today. John, John, listen. And also, John, now, what John. about that? Edward? No, 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 hold on. We'll move on. We'll move on in a minute. John, 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 John. There was a headbutt. You are the only person on the planet no, that claims no, there everybody wasn't. Everybody said it. it was, Why it, did he get it, sent off then? Well, because the intent was there to head, but well, there was he no didn't contact. Touch him, no. There was no contact. No, he didn't touch him at all. Okay, let, okay, at all. let me hand you over to someone that's played at the highest level and played for England as well. Let's get his yeah. view. Benty, was there contact? There was contact. I think no, you can see there, there, was con- there was contact. It might have been. Listen, there might have been minimal contact, but there was contact. On our player after Paul Davis being banned for eight matches, and also the two penalties that Liverpool should have had when Robertson, when at Anderson, handled the ball from Robertson's shot. What about that, then? Well, that, that, listen, that could have been handball, but you're saying about the headbutt, there was no contact when there was no, clear headbutt. No, I didn't think there was. If the intention was there to do it... No, there was headbutt. Because he no, reacted... John, John, John. Hello? He headbutted him. No, because he reacted, if you watch it. No, no, no. He went, he, 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 rea- he thought John. there was a foul, John. and that he'd already been pushed by that Anderson, okay. and then he was... Demonstrating to the referee. John, let me ask you this question. It. Let me ask you this. And then he let me, him again let and me ask then you this, he, John. He's stuck there, didn't on it. John, let me ask you this, right? Yes. Every single per, every single pundit on telly, everyone bar none, says it was a headbutt and it was contact. Well, right? Hold I on, hold on, hold on, John. Hold on. Every single pundit and presenter on telly says headbutt. Slow so mo. Hold on, hold on, John. Hold on, hold on, hold on, John. Hold on. Every single pundit and presenter on telly says it was a headbutt. In the slow mo and normal time. You can yeah. see it's a headbutt. Every single but, presenter, hold on, and pundit on the radio has really? says, hold on, has says it's a headbutt and it's contact. Every newspaper, a media outlet, says headbutt and contact. Well, do you believe all the papers? I don't. And also, what did Gary Gillespie say? What did Neil Mellon say? What did Jim White say? What did Dieter Mann say? What did Steve McMahon say? What did Roy Keane say? I'll tell you what I say, and actually you had much too much airtime. Let's speak to Dan, a Palace fan. Hello, Dan. Hello, how are you doing, boys? Good, how are you? You all right today? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. I think that was rather comical, that last call, that I must say. <laughs> I can only apologise for giving him so much airtime. Sorry, Dan. Unbelie- I, mean, I mean, do you know what? It's a common, common story today of Liverpool fans on Twitter, I've seen, of people that have actually condoned Nunez's headbutt for saying that 
bear in mind it was he was basically in Joachim Madison's pocket all game and Joachim Madison actually had a field day defending against him. That was the only reason why. It was a retaliation from frustration from his perspective. But anyway, let's move on from that point. Um, going going into the game, I was you know looking at the formation from Vieira at the start. I was actually quite concerned. Um, I thought, oh dear, he's gone very defensive here and we could really get trounced here. Um, but actually, as the game panned out, yes, we rode our luck at times, but I actually think on a counter-attack, we looked really, mm. really, really dangerous. Do, do you, you know, know what, Dan, do you know what Dan, Dan, you're 100% right, because the way that he set up, I did think it's a bit defensive, but I think there was a clear plan. Mm. Um, I mean, when you look at the front three of Eze, who I think is fantastic, I still don't think he's hit the top form since that Achilles injury, but I think that's coming. Yeah. You've got him, Zahar in the middle, Eze on, on the, the left. The only one I'm disappointed with is Ayu a little bit, but... Yeah. It was quite clear, and I think that's the way you're going to go against all the top teams. I think you're going to sit in there, you're going to wait, and then utilise the, the likes of Zahar, Eze, Elise, when he's back. Use their pace to get him behind. I think you'll cause team problems. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, we've seen under Vieira that against the big teams, Ayu tends to start Yeah, because he does the running. He does the chasing down. He does the hard work there. Um, he's not the best footballer that we've got, but he gives us a different dimension when, when we're sort of on, on the back foot, so to speak, and we're sort of chasing the ball down on the, um, in terms of up, high end up at the pitch, basically. So um, we do see him start a lot. I was disappointed from his performance. You know, what he added to the game was very little. But in terms of our game plan, it was perfect. You know, we, we executed it to, to their weakness and we saw the weakness in Phillips at centre-back on the right-hand side there. Mm. And we just exploited that all yeah. game. Dan, can I just ask you, we were asking Liverpool fans with, what, 16 yeah. days to go till the window closes, whether or not they need to go shopping. Do you? Um, I, I've been happy so far. I think we need another striker because since we sold Benteke to DC United mm. um, a couple of weeks ago, I think, you know, his wages of, of, of over 100 grand a week is, is now sort of left spare. And I do feel we, we need a goal scorer. If we can get a goal scorer, you know, the same, same sort of level as Danny Ings, um, you know, it can sort of bag us 15, 20 goals a season. You know, that, that could be our, our catalyst to sort of top 10 finish. Okay, Dan, thank you for your call. Do you know what, it's mad. He, he said it there, Dan made some good points, but there's a there's a, a video that I've just watched, actually. It's about a minute long of all the um, altercations between Anderson and Nunez, Nunez. And you can quite clearly see he's wound him up because there's times where the ball's miles away. Yeah. He'll just push him in Give the back. Give him a little Give him a little That's dig. part of the game, right? It's part of the game. Just wi- winding him up, winding yeah. him up, winding him up to the yeah. point Nunez just snaps. Yeah, but there was no contact. 